Hey people, this is Mindful Talks podcast. Welcome to the third episode of Hashtag Unlocking Content Treasure. With the advancement of technology, many writers are concerned about their future. Will AI replace their positions? The simple fact and the answer is absolutely not. Writers cannot be replaced by AI. It may simplify their lives by performing research, editing, plagiarism detection and SEO. But it cannot contribute feelings or emotions to the words. It cannot be replaced. So how can't AI replace writers? So AI, of course, like as we said that the emotions and the ideas, the originality, sentiments, experiences and a lot of things comes from only human minds only. And this can never be replaced even if any technology come possibly like as of now. So yes, like as a content writer, uh, we may use several tools to help produce a well-researched and well-written article. But that blog post still requires uh, to leave a lasting impression and that comes from the real human. So say for example, uh, we use Grammarly for editing. So this pro- like this software assists in enhancing the work by highlighting grammar errors or plagiarism and providing the readability reading. But this technology can occasionally make the phrase very bad. So of course to delight the readers, to have this good feeling for the readers, you need to write in your way rather than just be dependent on a particular software when it comes to any article or blog. So even after using Grammarly, uh, you should always read and self-edit your blogs. And also like while Google and other tools may notify you about the SEO keywords, they cannot automatically put them into your post. They can't automatically stop the keywords. And famously said by one great philosopher that one machine can do the work of 50 ordinary men, but no machine can do the work of one extraordinary man. And that's the fact So your readers may occasionally inquire about your own experience. So there is no AI tool that can write those experiences into the material. And to develop effective copy, writers must first grasp whatever things they are about to write, like about the topic. They should do the research stuff and then they should shoot the content. So yes, they can better grasp their consumers' sentiments or if if they can sympathize with them. And as a result, they can create a superior duplicate than AI. Like it's it's basically for all those who like who are writing on the same topic and there are tons of articles out there already. So this is just for that only. And say for example, Alibaba employs AI to create product descriptions. And you will notice a difference like when you read their product descriptions and compare them to the other versions. So you'll see the difference like, Hannah. You know? And uh, of course, like AI is unable to connect the dots and maintain a consistent flow in the, like in the writing and you may have observed that when you start writing after performing extensive research your material grows organically so of course like say for example you are writing on some topic like it software or anything like that and you have researched already and you have developed your organic writing skills rather than just sticking to paraphrasing the things. Also, AI is unsure about the tone, that which kind of tone it used to adopt in blog articles. So some blogs such as news related to blogs or require facts while others such like mine ebook or requires conversational tone kind of. So of course, like you need to have proper tone and you need to know when to switch that tone as well. So there are many elements that you add in a particular article and that elements can only be applied by a human rather than AI. Now the thing is, where does AI fit in the writing world? So as previously said, it may assist authors by performing keyword research, scanning blogs, relevancy, and testing the SEO, editing, and so on. It can assist authors in quickly creating amazing content. Like 
Grammarly. So Grammarly is a very useful editing tool. It saves a lot of time, like significant amount of time in finding the grammatical errors and whatnot. So of course, like these tools are really helpful and there are other tools as well, SEO tools as well that helps you, but they are just the weapons. Hannah. So you can't use it like you can't be dependent on them only use it as a tool rather than just fully being fully dependent on them. So lastly, I must say that AI is good in their own place as well as writers who are good in their own unique way. So both of them cannot cannot be replaced by each other, but it's just that key. They are good whenever they collab. So we can take it as a collaboration rather than just replacing the thing. I also uh, like AI is not just about copying the things and writing it like fetishizing it. But as we spoke about this, some softwares like Grammarly. So Grammarly also uses AI for this. So of course, these are also tools that should be respected and uh, of course without them the job of a writer would be very hard so yes thank you so much for listening this throughout and we'll see you in the next episode till then keep on exploring good content